so it was a clear toss up tonight. It was either going to be uh, great cars, which is over there, up there. Uh, that's where the wreckage of the Halifax is, or Pike of Blisco, which is a way to go up there. And as I've already been mountain biking today, uh, this is my option. See you later. So you're heading up uh, Pike of Blisco and you don't want to go up the rocky trod up from Red Town. And you come up from Rhinos, you find a long grassy track, well, more of a trod, it'll wind its way up the fell side as we are now. It's quickening for the climbers up on the crags there. A couple of climbers there now. Rather warm tonight. In fact, we're erring on the side of breathless. And I'll pan you around. So, uh, over there, we have uh, pointy one there is Great Cars, Grey Friar, Swirl Howe, and Weatherlam, the old man's further back, which you might see in a bit, a bit later. We'll see how we go, eh? Wow. Whew. And up there, that little bit up there, that's the top, so we've not got far to go. Ah. Uh, Thank goodness for that. If it ever comes into doubt why you do what you do, do it to me, dooby doo doo. So I'm on the top of Pike Blisco. I'm camped just south of the south summit. Uh, tents all pitched up. But in the meantime, Houston Fells, the whole of the Helvellyn Ridge. North to south. It's Windermere down there, if you can make it out. And Harrison Stickle, just in the shade now. That's the true summit, just in front. And the sun's just about to dip behind Gunson Knot on Crinkle Crags. Uh, oh, I might have that wrong. Correct me if I have. So I'm just making my way over to the uh, to the main summit. Lost the casing for my GoPro. Really miffed about that. I've been needing to get a new one for ages, but uh, it just dropped off in the meantime. Oh, hello, hey, up Claire Hales. There's my tea. Oh, yeah, prime bit of mutton there, or a nice lamb shank. I just need some uh, red currants for a nice jus.
is it? Not bad at all at all. Hopefully we might get some starry skies tonight. Although, uh, probably just admiring them, I'm not doing too... Uh, going into all that astro malarkey. So there's my pitch for the night. And the views are priceless. And it's free. It's free, folks. I'm going to get the whole of the Eastern Fells in sunrise. Oh, it's just gone off eight. The sun's dropped right now behind uh, behind the crinkles there. It's brew with a view time, folks. Look at that. That's my view in the morning. Morning, everybody. So I just woke up. It is half five. I'm um, just popping my head open to that. Isn't that beautiful? Absolutely stunning. Absolutely beautiful. Well, start the day with a brew, aren't you? Hey, how about starting the day with a brew and a view? Dum dum dum. You be pleased the bogey man didn't get me last night. So I just set the GoPro up on a recorded time lapse of the sunrise, which I doubt will be too long. That fiery glow over there on the horizon is absolutely beautiful.
that's it for today. The light's gone. Well, it has for me anyway. It's uh, It's gone very milky. And uh, I've just cleared up the tent, all my belongings. And as usual, folks, let's keep it to leave no trace. One last pan round. Ah, stunning. Well, let's go, shall we? Midges are starting to bite this morning, infuriating me. Alright, so we've just hit the path, or a path. Uh, I can see Rhino's summit down in the very distance. So literally, just down yonder, down from that crag. Don't know if you may make, probably won't make it out on there. There's a couple of cars there that have in there overnight and this path winds its way down nice and grassy nothing taxing it's like the old farmer's been a bit overzealous with his blue paint on the sheep up here and this is a nice little path and now I missed this bit coming up well, maybe I didn't did I I don't know who knows I don't think I did actually so that crag there is a favourite with rock climbers. Uh, come up quite a straightforward kick up from the road for them. Never really floated my boat to be fair. But uh, I admire those that do it. See what I mean about the uh, blue paint? <laughs> or blue stripes. Oh, that's a little steep bit negotiated. Come down a different route to the one I went up. It's a decent path though. I think we're in for a cloudy day. At least till the sun burns this lot off. If it burns it off. So up there, that's Cold Pike. And the far distance crinkles. Usually taking crinkles with bow fell. If you're feeling uh, really up for it, you can pull in cold pike, pike of blisco. We're not far from, oh, there we are. So just so I make it out of this little path here. That runs up to Red Town from Rhinos Pass and then gives you access to Pike of Blisco. All the crinkles, just saves you a little bit of height. Uh, but if you're doing the crinkles and bow fell, I would do them from uh, Old Dungeon Gill. Be prepared though, it's a slog going up the band. And you can only really make it interesting if you pull in the climber's traverse, which is pretty spectacular. Oh, that one a decent path. Let's remember that one. Heads up, it's a climber's path really, up to those crags there. And then you can skirt round them and head up onto the summit, which is just beyond. Not much in distance, but uh, a fair bit of height to climb. You can see the path winding its way down. Great being out, but you do miss a bit of company. And the problem is, if I come walking with me, you end up walking at their speed, which is like faster than you're comfier with. Nice bit of pitch bath, but I don't like this stuff when it's wet. It's greasy as heck. 
Oh, there we have it, folks. Back on the road. Uh, just dropped down past the three shire stone. Oh, oh. The one shire stone as it is now. It's really ridiculous. It used to be a triangular piece of stone with the uh, three old counties, Westmoreland, Cumberland and Lancashire on it. And now it's just got bloody Lancashire. No like for like. I think that's a poor do to be fair. Still, not going to take away what a good night I've had. <laughs>